morning guys welcome back to today's video i have a hair appointment today and when i have a hair appointment i don't do put any product in my hair before i go so this is my hair this is my hair appointment hair welcome to today's video guys i need your help like i'm not even joking i need your help oh it's warm in here every morning i like to come in it's not as warm as we're gonna get some thermostat things some temperature things she's like i'm coming she's like i'm coming <laughs> Wait for me. She loves Molly and Molly loves her. Um, so I like to come every morning and see my horse. Oh, pin. She pins her ears. It's not because she doesn't like me. It's because she wants her food. Okay, so number one for the goat girl on our channel, which I appreciate having you here. That did some blood work to test for some diseases. I don't know what they are. Um, most of the, so mostly she's good. We have, we're still waiting on a couple of tests. He says it can take like a week, so we're hoping Friday he we will get the results. And she's and yeah, there are some that he said are not accurate until the goat is over a year old. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I have to carry you from here. We don't let her walk in the goat area, although the goats walk here, so I don't know what what the point is. So I'm leaving her in here while I do chores. I decided to leave Ellie with her too and then everybody's safe. You're stuck. Oh yeah, I forgot she can jump. My dog can jump. Stop. Stop. I want you to stay in here. Could you stay in here? Nope. Ellie. I also don't want her jumping. You are so cute. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> Goats are so curious. Okay, so here's what I need your help with. I'm gonna just tell you guys while I do chores because yeah, chores is what I have to do. <laughs> okay, so I think I have it figured out, but I don't know, you guys. The horse I'm looking for for Sophie. It's complicated because she wants to do Western and she wants to jump. She's jumped her whole entire life, you guys. And it's what she wants to do, but she has this newfound love for Western. She loves showmanship, she loves horsemanship, she loves halter class but she really loves Western pleasure. So uh, this is where it gets difficult. If you really want to do Western pleasure, you have to have a very specific kind of horse. Like you can't just take any Western horse and make it Western pleasure. Does that make sense? I mean, you can do a lot of Western stuff with any horse, like an all rounder, but Western pleasure is so very specific. And I'm sure that there are some western pleasure horses that do really well and then and they can jump and lengthen their stride and and reach out and stuff i'm sure there are like storm can kind of do it but it's finding that horse is difficult so he looks every day all day she was looking at yesterday she must have sent me 12 horses western pleasure horses and the problem i'm having with them is that they're all built the way that storm is built and that's fine but Sophie needs something stockier. She needs something bigger and she, so it's been a struggle. To say it's been a struggle. Oh, I forgot to let the duck and the goose out. You guys got me all distracted. So I'm struggling with the idea of buying her a horse built like Storm that's a Western horse when we have Storm. Does that make sense? Like why am I buying her a horse that's built like Storm that's not the perfect size for her that she wants to do the same stuff that she does with Storm with this horse. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. I've gone back and forth so many times. So is Sophie, so have our trainers. Like, she wants a horse that can jump and Storm can't jump. So do I buy Sophie two new horses? No. So this is where I need your help. This is what I need to know. This is what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking like, we have Storm. He needs to be worked. He can, I mean, he can just sit around doing nothing, but I don't want him just sitting around doing nothing. So we have Storm. Sophie wants to jump and do Western. Why can't she keep riding Storm and do Western on Storm and then we buy her a horse that's more suitable in size that she can grow into, that she can like make into an all-rounder, that she can like work with. I don't know, is, it, is that crazy? Like what am I, I don't know what I'm buying for her. Okay, wait, I have to do the duck pond now. Uh-oh, <laughs> because they're swimming in ice, dirty ice. Hold on, I'll get you guys fresh water. Oh, there's a rock in there today. So what would you do? I can find a horse that is a good body shape for Sophie, that has the skills that she needs, that's at the right level for her for jumping. I can find that horse. 
that horse isn't an issue. It's the Western Pleasure Horse that I'm struggling with, you guys. It's like, you can find Western Pleasure Horses that are bigger, but it's really hard to find them. Like Western Pleasure Horses are show bred. Like Storm has a show body. He's bred for show, being a show horse. He doesn't have a grade, like he's not a grade quarter horse. He's a show ho quarter horse. So all the ones that we find are the same, are show bred. Anyway, I don't know what to do. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm like considering right now. I, We've talked it over so many times, but we're really struggling. We are really struggling to find what she wants. The hose is not hosing. Great, my hose is frozen. Half of my hose is frozen. There will be water today. <laughs> so that's my dilemma. Tell me what to do. Just tell me. <laughs> Better yet, tell me what you would do. The hose fell out. Oh, it's because you're full. Hold on, let me turn that off. So, uh, I know I love this stall too. I could just come and sit in here and just relax and enjoy life. So, about Lola. What I was saying before is that there's a right way, a wrong way, and a way in between that is the best of both worlds. So um, ideally, it should be separated for till she's a year, for a year, from our flock, from our herd. She knows uh, if I pull back on her a little bit, then she can't go there. Ideally, it would be best to keep her separated until she's a year. So for a year of her life, keep her separated. That's not feasible for us. It's not feasible for most people. And even our vet agreed, like people don't keep their goats separated for a year to make sure that they're okay. What we can do instead is do all the blood work. Some of it, one thing I think in particular, isn't accurate until after they're a year, but getting back all the other results have already shown us that she's in really good health. Her fecal came back completely perfect. She doesn't even have coccidia, which is often a thing with babies. And our goats that we bought, were, our babies were full of coccidia. And we had to treat them for that. She is good. She didn't have any fleas. She doesn't, um, like her, her fecal came back good. The other results he said came back good. So we're just gonna make the best decision that we can for the goats and for us. We can't keep her separated for a whole year. Um, so we're doing the testing and when it comes back that it's okay, then we're going to integrate her into her herd. Not ideal, not the perfect solution, but a good solution. It's the best of both worlds. It's, it's the only choice that we can make for all of us to be happy and healthy. Definitely there will be other people out there that would make a different choice and keep her separated for a year. Um, and that's your choice to make. Oftentimes in life, there are choices that you have to make that you can't make the perfect one and you don't want to make the wrong one. So you end up making the one that is the best choice overall. So that's like almost like about with Sophie's horse. Sophie, tell them what kind of horse you want. Uh, Palomino. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you want a jumping horse? Do you want a Western Pleasure horse? What do you want? It's both. Yeah, she just, she wants to do, she wants to do it all. She's 13, she wants to do it all. So there we have it. <laughs> Nothing about our life is perfect. We may or may not have but we do the best with, the, with what we have and that's okay. They have already splashed out a bunch of water from their pool. But they're happy, happy to have fresh water today. It wasn't frozen, not frozen. So I literally cannot believe how different it is being on this farm. It's literally like farm life. It's nothing like our old house where we played everything safe and just had horses and chickens and kept our chickens locked up. Like life is so different. Yeah, see, even she agrees. So today we are having to make some changes in our chicken coop. What we're thinking, yeah, we should clean this out first. So two of our chickens went broody. So every time our chickens lay eggs, they go underneath the broody hen and then we're not getting any eggs and then pretty soon we're gonna have 500 eggs underneath the broody hen. So it's good that the one that's laying in here is laying in here because she has a set number of eggs. No other chicken goes in there and lays eggs. The one that's in the other coop. Look how tall I am, guys. Yeah, you're standing on something and no. I'm crouching. Ow. Um, so we're gonna make a move today, put the other, put the silky who's broody in this pen with her 
eggs and let her hatch her babies in here so that we can at least we get put our both, eggs. both broodies in there. Yeah, we actually could put both broodies in here. Anyway, we're going to get this all cleaned out and get it all fixed up and we'll show you when we're done. All right, so it is super dusty in here. We've been dealing with straw, so we got it all cleaned out and then we added a bunch of new straw. So what Sophie wants to do is put both broody hens in here. Hi. She, she, she had so many eggs, she broke one. All right, so I'm going to put the water in the middle. Hopefully that doesn't leak. And then I'm going to put their food here. They don't even have to cross paths. Yeah, they don't even have to cross paths. Don't watch, walk that much anyways. All right, so let's see what's underneath her. She cracked an egg, which is never good. Because then these eggs, these chickens can't get out. We'll be giving them some so she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get on there. Yeah, put them all. Isn't that cute how she puts them all underneath her? She put them all underneath you. Okay. There's your nest. And there's your food and water. Look how puffy she gets. Oh she's just covered in yolk now. That one egg. Look, these are not even all the way under her. Let's get them all under her. How many, whoops, how many does she have? One, so there's a bunch of pink ones in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she's got ten eggs. Hopefully, she's, this one's nosy. She's like, I think I want some of that. So now we have two broody hens both inside this thing they can raise the babies in here there's a little thing a little roost for them and we'll be able to like watch them and take care of them a little bit better and they won't steal all of our eggs like that's 18 eggs we have 18 babies we might not have 18 babies because not all of them will hatch yeah but we'll we're back in eggs. business now our chickens can lay eggs and we can have them again Thanks, Sam. This is my favorite drink right now, since I don't I drink coffee. coffee yeah, no, you have a cold. No, I'm better now. No way. I'll pour some in a cup for you. Don't tell Gabby, but we are in her car. We're taking it because you have to drive cars all the time so that they don't, the battery doesn't die. And that's what happened. We didn't drive Gabby's car too much in the summer. So, because Sam can't get in it and he's the one that takes her driving all the time. So every time they went driving, they took the van or they took the truck. But anyway, Sophie's been on her makeup. Where are we headed, Sophie? To the hairdresser. Let's see if we can get some heat. I'm getting something really good done. Yeah, we're getting something drastic. So we're both going to the hairdresser. We're getting something drastic. We're both getting like the same kind of a cut, but a little bit different. And Gabby's gonna go, and she's gonna get something drastic too. She's going later though. Yeah, because she's yet. in school. But anyways, let's go and we'll see what happens to her hair. I'm a bit nervous. Are you a bit nervous? I'm very excited. Yeah. All right. Let's go. So we were shopping today. <laughs> And we got this. So now our cat has two, not one, but two cat towers. <laughs> one has a scratchy post. Oh my God, this is sturdy. You could stand. Yeah, they are sturdy. Anyway, as you can tell, she likes it. Do this you guys think not. she's? Well, look at this. This wiggles. Yeah. I could pull this off. Well, oh, because it unscrews. Well, don't unscrew it. Do you guys think she's growing? appropriately like she's so small so what she's got to be what 11 weeks now she is small yeah and she just doesn't ever seem to grow like so much where we say wow she really grew like you can tell she really she grew. grew a little bit she did grow like she is growing but she doesn't look like a 12 week kid i don't know she kind of looks like a 12 week kitten to me what <laughs> She's like, I, like need, she's one of those I need attention. Things. Pay attention to me. She, she kind of looks like she's one of those flat things. Oh, uh, Persians. Yeah, she's probably part Persian. She looks like she's got Persian in her. No, no, you know the cat <laughs> with the flat faces? Yeah. That they either look like really friendly or like really mean. Yeah. Well, anyways, we like Look, her. Really shy. So Sam, so we bought this other cat tower today and Sam says, who knew we were going to be the crazy cat people? But suddenly, we are the crazy cat people. She needs she needs height though because of the of the dogs, especially this dog. Oh. What? Come here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my hair. So this is it. I got short layers. I wanted some depth up at the top, and I have had this cut before, but I really like it. I love it, and so so it's drastic compared to what my hair was. You just can't really tell. But wait till you see Sophie's hair. Ellie needs love, you guys. She gets jealous when other when other animals love me or I spend time with other animals. Don't lick me. But I love you. I love you. I do love you. She missed me. You guys, 
Today is the last driving our horses out for lessons for a while because Sam's having surgery soon and we'll be homebound. <laughs> Little silky. Do you want me to carry it? So the thing that I like about shorter layers is that this hairstyle lasts a really long time. So it's still a little bit long, but as it grows out, the layers will just get longer and longer and longer and I'm okay with that. So this style literally can last forever. Here comes Stormy Boy. We are going for lessons. It's cold now. I might have to get a hat actually. I might grab a hat. You ready to ride Stormy Boy? Anyway, you're not supposed to look at Sophie's hair yet. Yeah, don't show me. Because it's not curled. She wants to curl it, but she got long layers. She curled some of it, but she didn't have time to finish. She wanted to like really curl it, but even not curled, it looks amazing on her. You guys will probably see it tomorrow when it's looking awesome. Where's the new light? Oh, so it's, wow. So is it like motion detection or? Just a nighttime light? So it comes on at night? Yeah. Sophie, we should give him his dinner. I think you're gonna regret it, but whatever, I'm not the boss. Just joking, I am the boss. He went through the people door. <laughs> oh boy. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 